Hello, welcome to this lesson in Mastering 5th Grade Math. We're going to be doing word problems that involve subtracting fractions. So when we subtract fractions, we're looking for certain keywords in the problem that lets us know that we're actually trying to subtract them instead of adding the fractions. Usually we're looking for words like, what is the difference between two things? Or how much more than something is something else? When you're asking things like that, you're asking for the difference, which is subtraction. So the first problem is Jason. Uh, is seven-eighths of a meter tall and Bob is five-sevenths meters tall. How much taller is Jason? So you see you're saying how much taller. When you're saying how much taller or how much more of something, you're always asking for subtraction. So Jason is seven-eighths of a meter and uh, Bob is five-sevenths and we need to subtract these guys like this. Now we do not have a common denominator uh, here so we need to do that ourselves. Uh, I'm coming up blank on what a great common denominator would be, so I go back to my fallback. 8 times 7 is 56, so I know that I can use 56 as a common denominator. So I'll go 7 eighths, and then I can multiply this by 7, like this. And what I'll have is 7 times 7 is 49, and then 8 times 7, of course, is 56, right, like that. And then I'll transform the bottom fraction by saying 5 sevenths, and I'll multiply this one by 8, by 8, 8 times 5 is 40, and then of course also have 56 on the bottom. So you see how when you multiply these together I get 56, I can always use that as a common denominator. So now that I have this common denominator, I just keep it in my answer, 56, and then I have 49 minus 40 is going to give me 9, and the answer is 9 56. It's a weird looking fraction, but I can't really simplify that anymore, 9 56 of a meter. That's how much taller Jason is, which is me, from the other guy, which was named Bob. All right. So the next problem, again, let's look for the keyword that indicates subtraction. Bill finished eight of the ten test questions. Uh, James finished two-fifths of the questions. How much more of the test did Bill finish than James? So what you're saying is how much more of something. So that's a keyword that means how much more. You're looking for the difference, which is subtraction. All right, so if Bill finished eight of the 10 questions, that's a fraction by itself, eight of the 10 questions. He finished eight tenths of the test. James finished two fifths of the test, and we need to subtract them. We wanna find out how many more of, how much more of the test did this guy finish than this guy? So we have two fractions to subtract, and I notice I have a five and a 10, so I'm gonna immediately change the two fifths. I'm gonna multiply this times two times two, which will give me four tenths because I'm trying to match this as a denominator. I'll leave this alone, I don't have to mess with him. Now I have two fractions with 10 in the denominator. So then I will keep 10 in the denominator, like this, and then I'll have eight minus four, because I'm subtracting, which will give me four tenths. So four tenths is the answer, but I always need to check, can I simplify? Yes, I can divide this by two. Yes, I can divide this by two. Four divided by two is two. 10 divided by 2 is 5, so the answer is 2 fifths. So one guy finished more of the test than the other in terms of the fraction. How much more did he finish? He finished 2 fifths more of the test uh, than the other guy did. You're expressing it as a fraction. All right, so let's work our last word problem. Again, we're looking for the keywords that, that show us that we're doing a subtraction here. The pizza had 12 slices. Jeff ate 3 fourths of them. How many slices are left? Now this one can trip people up because you're usually looking for two fractions to 